Well, no school might be exciting for the kids right now, but maybe just a few days. How long before boredom sets in? How are you planning to pass the time? We're all in this together, so what ideas do you have to help parents with kids at home? Send us a text, 602-444-1212. Many museums across the globe really are trying to give you some ideas, providing virtual tours, more than 500 of them from across the Con all the continents, the Guggenheim in New York City, the Van Gogh in Amsterdam. Like, it's not great, but it's something. May I suggest a game night? Maybe get everyone involved in cooking dinner, puzzles, teach your kids a hobby, instruments, crochet. The weather's good, play catch, go for a walk, arts and crafts. This whole thing is just not easy. I get it, but we have to look for things to, to do. Maybe a movie night. What suggestions do you have for parents? Did something work well this weekend? Something that you can tell us maybe we can try to do over the next few weeks. Here are some of the comments that are coming into us right now. This one from Facebook from Michelle. And Michelle says, read a book with them. We have exercise equipment if we can't get outside. I bought some stuff for crafts. I have about 50 projects I've been meaning <laughs> to get to that he wants good. to help with. So that's good, 50 projects. Okay. Got about 50 days worth left in there. Sounds about right. Little ones who won't be doing home study, indoor bowling. All you need is a ball and a bunch of plastic solo cups. Art, yes. cover kitchen table with paper, long rolls, works best, make a piece of art every day. Get outside, play time near your home, no park. So those are all great suggestions and we're going to need them. Yes. Because the problem I think here is, um, and this weekend we were great. We enjoyed some new things that, that we you know don't normally do, but. Yeah. We could be in this for the long haul, according to exactly. what some health officials are saying right now. And I think that's what has a lot of parents worried. So having those 50 projects, that's great. It definitely helps. And I think we're trying to stick to a similar schedule as much as possible. So the kids are trying to get up at the same time, mm -hmm. trying to get started at the same time. Our school is sending out remote learning at right. 8 a.m. every day, which is the normal start. So we're just trying to stick to a schedule, see how it goes. It's day one. Who knows? As you say, we are in for the long haul with this. So keep sending in your suggestions because guess what? We're all going to need them.